I'm Sean Walsh. And I'm Jalen Durrell. And we're in the back of a truck. Yes, we are. Hello, Newman. We've got an exciting episode for you this week. Do we? We do. All right, for sure. Um, as a new segment on the show this week, we are working with Nate Cox to bring you a segment that profiles CBSLs of the week. Hi, I'm Kathleen Hanley, and my CBSL project is working with Love Manifest. Hi, I'm Chad Machinick, and I am also working with Love Manifest. So junior year is when I started the project. Um, basically, most of the project is around fundraising, and that's what we've been doing for the past year. And in February 2017, we'll be going to India and hopefully have raised enough money. It's about $4,000, but we're just gonna keep fundraising. <laughs> By the end of my project, I hope to have raised enough money to bring one well to an Indian village so that people there won't have to trek for miles a day to search for clean water, and they can have it available to them at any time. This experience, this project, um, will give me a greater perspective on how easy we have it here about having clean water and that we should be able to help the people in India because we have it so easy here and they just struggle to get a glass of water every day. We had a great day, jog day this week. I saw a lot of you guys walking, jogging, and dancing and raising a lot of money for our school. So good job to all of you guys. Well, Chad and Nalu for sports. Newman's football won the homecoming game 50 to 7 against Ukiah at home. Yes. Newman's cross country had a great meet Wednesday, and their top runner, David Simone, did fabulous. Yes. Newman tennis beat Korea 6 to 1. Thank you very much. Let's check in with Word on the Street. So I'm here with Donnie Collins. Now, Donnie, if you were on a deserted island, what three things would you bring? I would probably bring a bath bomb, first of all. Secondly, I would bring some uh, scented candles. And my third item would be my pet dog to keep me company. <laughs> the one and only James Beans Perry. James, tell me what three things you would bring with you if you were on a deserted island. Uh, first would be my water shoes for aquatic and land travel. Second would probably be multiple burritos uh, to satisfy my appetite. And lastly, I'd probably bring multiple lady friends. Now, Ava, if you're on a deserted island, what three things would you bring? I'd bring Ava. I'd also bring Ava. And we'd also bring an artichoke. <laughs> I'm here with Larry Bruno. Now, Larry, um, if you were on a deserted island, what three things would you bring? Definitely my grandpa's phone number, an undershirt, and probably my knee brace. Lizzie Foley here. Um, Lizzie, if you were on a deserted island, what three things are you bringing? Food, water, one of my nine cats, kitty kitty. I'm here with the one and only Lizzie Bird. Now tell me, if you had to bring three things with you, on an island, what would that be? Um, a dustpan, band-aids, and scissors. There you go. Here's Chandler with Car of the Week. So I'm here with my good pal Chris Chandler with his, oh, tell us about your car here, Chris. Well, it's a 2006 Chevy Equinox. Um, pretty good condition, some minor scrapes, nothing serious. Uh, yeah, uh, Chris, what happened to the front there? Uh, I hit a turkey backing out of my driveway. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That's interesting. So, Chris, what is your favorite aspect about this uh, silver bullet? You know, she's really fast. fast. Zero to 16, probably 10 seconds. 10. That's oh, pretty quick. So, Chris, um, what's your favorite detail about your interior, your car? Um, 
definitely have to say the stereo system is probably the best speakers I've ever heard. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Equinox usually comes with some pretty high tech yeah. speakers. Yeah. Yeah. Very high quality. Now, Chris, I happen to pick up a toothbrush in your car. Yeah. Is I, this is this something you do often? I was at the dentist yesterday and they just gave me that little souvenir. Oh wow! What dentist do you go to? And Mr. Christopher here is going to give us a tech tip for the week. All right. So. As you can see right here, there's a yellow line matched up with the screw and the bolt. And if it's not lined up perfectly, then your car is deemed unsafe. Thanks, Chris. So we have a big game this week against Maria Carrillo. Probably going to be the biggest game of the year. So I want all of you guys to be there or be square. All right, Newman, have a good weekend. Make sure you guys go to the game and look for number 54, Big Chocolate Thunder. He'll be there. Make good choices and be safe. Stay away from clowns, too. Cause Stay away no from jokes. clowns. I don't no jokes. Clowns. No. All right, let's go.